Hey guys, welcome back today to another video. Today, I am absolutely delighted to be joined by one of my favourite players in the Chelsea team. You guys know I've got a lot to say, a lot of good things to say about Mr. Ruben Loftus Cheek. How you doing, mate? You good? Thank you. Yeah. Fantastic. So we're here today at the FIFA 17 launch event. I've asked a few questions to Ruben over on the Slash Football channel. If you want to check that out, links in the description. But I've got some of my own. I asked you guys on Twitter to let me know some questions. There's nothing dodgy. You know, there's, there's a few in here that obviously we're going to want to know some decent answers to. So then, obviously, you come up through the academy at Chelsea, and we've seen you break into the first team. Which player, either current or past, would you say has been the biggest role model for you at the club? Um, I'm going to say Frank Lampard. Yeah. Yeah, because when I was Growing up in the academy, you know, youth team, he was, he was, one, he was the one to watch for me, you know, similar position and, and uh, scored a lot of goals. You know, I mean, Frank Lampard was, was the one to watch. Did he ever say anything to you particularly? Did he ever give you any pet yeah, talk? Yeah, always. You know, he was there, he was there if you ever wanted advice, you know, ask him about, you know, off the pitch on the pitch, he was there. Yeah, and he helped me a lot. That's class, that's awesome. So if you had. I'm guessing you're probably going to put Frank in this. If you had to create a five-a-side team of Chelsea players, past and present, who would you put in? You can say yourself. No, I can't. Not yet. He'll be the boss. I say Zola is in there. Zola, Hazard, Desai. This is a good team. This is a strong team. <laughs> yeah, nice one. Like that. That is a pretty strong team, to be fair. So, what player would you say is your best mate at Chelsea? Like, who do you always sit next to in the dressing room, or you always chat to at the training ground? I, I sit next to Nathaniel Chalabala and Ola Aina. You know, similar age, we get along. Yeah, yeah. I guess you guys have known each other for a while. Yeah, yeah so I get along with them a lot. Any of the older players in particular? I think we're all pretty tight, you know, um, but especially you know, being English, John Terry and uh, Gary yeah, yeah. Awesome, yeah. nice one. So obviously this is something that I wanted to know. Have you seen anything about FIFA 17, the journey, it's a new game mode? Yes, yeah. Is there anything would you say within the journey like that, that goes from being in the under 11s? Would you say that there's any moment in your footballing career where, that you actually thought was like a breaking point, the point where you either had the most pride or if you felt as though maybe it wasn't working out. Is there any points in your career like that? Yeah, I think as a, you know, as a footballer, you go through ups and downs in your career. And there's points where you, you, know, you get to your lowest point and it's all about just keeping your head in and, and saying so you'll, be, you'll be worth it in the end and, and you get through it. And, when you get to the other side, you know, you're mentally strong. Yeah. It's all the better. So. And is there any advice for sort of young players if you feel as though you're not going to quite make it? Is there anything that you would say maybe as a backup plan or would you say just to keep going if you want to be a footballer, you know, just put the work in? Yeah, well, if, you know, if, I think you, you really have to have belief in yourself if you really want to be a footballer. But sometimes if you haven't got the talent and people, you know, say, listen, I don't think you'll be a footballer. You know, you can have to have a backup. You know, and that's why you have school. I think you should always concentrate in school and try and try and get the best, best grades in school and, and have some, something to fall back on. You fall back. Yeah, awesome. I think that's great advice to be honest. Who's, who's the toughest player you've ever come up against? Yeah, yeah totally. Again, this every single video I do with the Chelsea player, it's always Yaya Torre. You, you must be an absolute monster. <laughs> so obviously, right now at Chelsea, there's a lot of players that are out on loan. Yeah. Is there any in particular that you think are going to come back to the club and make a huge impact? Obviously, Tammy Abraham scoring goals yeah. for fun at the moment. Do you think he's going to have a bright future at Chelsea? Yeah, well, you, ne you never know what can happen in the future. I mean, you know, there's a, a load of talented players on, on loan, as you say, and anything can happen. You know, there's a few players that can their career can take off, and then they end up coming back. And, there's players that you know won't, won't make it to Chelsea, so yeah, you know, you never know. Awesome. Well, that is my time up with Ruben today. Thank you very much for the interview. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to go and check out the other part of this interview over on the Slash Football YouTube channel, link is down below. I'm buzzing for FIFA 17. Maybe I'll give him a game one day and uh, I'll let you guys know if we play today and if I beat him, which I probably won't because I always get beat by everybody. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. I hope you guys did enjoy this video today with Ruben at Loftus-Cheek. If you want to see the second part, be sure to head over to the Slash Football channel and click on the annotation on the card on the screen or check the link in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.